I need reminding mm -hmm. along this journey that things are good and as they are meant to be, you know? And that, yes, like you're alluding to and saying, things happen to all of us. Mm -hmm. But we want to have that moment where you have the drink with your friend and you walk down the thing and you're enjoying yourself. You drive to the country with your friends and you think life is good, yeah, you know? Yeah, this, yeah. In spite of it all, our, because of it all, yeah. life is good. Yeah. And so I post those things too for others. Yeah. Because I, people constantly are telling me, sometimes I send me a little message, sometimes I comment, sometimes I get a call yeah. about how helpful those yeah. things are. Yeah. Just reminders, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so I think the one thing that I want to talk about too and touch on is the process. You know, like the fact that it's a constant process. Mm -hmm. It's a constant work. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a constant reminding yourself mm -hmm. that, you know, we all have emotions, we get angry, we feel things, but then there's some tools, there's some things we can do mm -hmm. to kind of like mitigate or navigate those things. Yeah. Do you have a process for yourself <laughs> when you think about your own life? I think, well, when I was younger, it was different because my whole, I think, journey towards spirituality started when I was like 15. I went through what I considered my little personal trauma, and I can say little now, and I know for somebody going through it right now as a teenager, it's probably a big thing for them, because it was mm -hmm. a big thing for me. I just felt like, no, I just, I, I can't do this anymore, and I actually just stopped going to school. And um, I know it was very difficult for my poor parents, and I think about it, and I think, oh my God, I probably traumatized my parents <laughs> more than I was traumatized. <laughs> but I know they were kind of thinking, like, what is going on? But I just stopped going. And um, then I picked up back the next year. But in that period of time, my mother, realizing, I guess, what I was going through, she was introduced to somebody at her workplace who was a member of the Signs of Mind Church in Jamaica, which is called Temple of Light, had given her this book called Creative Visualization by Shakti Gawain. And so she gave me this book to read. And even at 15, I kind of considered myself the scientific person. I'm reading the first few pages of this book, and it's telling you, like, you know, oh, you know, um, the way that you think, um, has to do, well, it determines what kind of experiences you have in your life. So if you're a negative kind of person, you're going to attract negative experiences. And I thought to myself, what kind of hocus pocus nonsense is this? And then she started to break it down in what I could relate to in terms of, you know, I thought I was a scientist, you know, I was doing science subjects in, in, in high school. So I thought, all right, great. So she starts to break it down into, you know, well, everything is made up of atoms or energy. At that time, you know, back in the old days, atoms were the smallest right. <laughs> particles. So, you know, um, she was like, you know, everything is made up of atoms and atoms all have like protons and electrons and this is all energy. So she starts to break it down. I'm like, all right, I can relate to this. And she's like, all the trees are, uh, have electrons. You are made up of electrons. Everything around you and everything is vibrating. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I can get into that. It's physics, uh -huh, it's chemistry, uh -huh. yeah, I can feel that. And she's like, yeah, so she starts to explain about how these things are vibrating and how, you know, I guess it was very basic kind of quantum physics. She was explaining in a very simple way, like, you know, these vibrations that you send out start to attract other electrons and so on of this vibrational level and these wavelengths. And I was like, hmm. So she has this thing in the way after she explains that she's like, if you don't believe, she's like, if you want to test this out for yourself, she's like, try this. I don't remember the exact exercise she gave, but she gave something about, I think it was either summoning someone to call or finding something in a book now as a as a i was studying a lot at that time and she had one of the examples of have you ever like wanted to find something and you've been searching searching and then you're frustrated and then you forget about it you walk away and then you just go to like a book and you open it and it's like the perfect page for the answer you were looking for or have you been like struggling to find the answer to like some math problem or something and you get frustrated you try all these things you walk away and when you calm down you just go and you sit down and you just like and I'm like all of those things have happened to me and then she gave some other examples she's like try this and I tried the experiment and it worked and she tried and said tried it you know she had different exercises and I was like wow this is kind of interesting so, but the book was just, it wasn't just about, you know, a lot of people talk about law of attraction, but it was deeper than that. It was not just about, you know, just getting stuff that you want, pulling out a BMW or a Mercedes out of the sky. It was deeper than that. It was talking about things like, you know, the good you deserve and, you know, just, you know, understanding your own programming, the kind of programming you got as a child. So for me then, some of the stuff was, I read it and that book I reread and reread to this day. But it led me to other authors, other books, Thomas More. Some stuff I didn't even understand. Like I started reading Thomas More, um, 
soulmate so, and I picked it up thinking it was some book about trying to find a boyfriend but it was not that and at the time I read it I was like 17 and I was like I don't understand this book is deeper than me and I threw that book to the side didn't read that book again until maybe I was like 30 something and then I, I got it so when you ask about I'm telling this long old story to just mm, say that so the fun. process is for me it, 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 it kind of started as one thing and things that would linger for a longer period of time for me like things I would struggle with that would take a longer time for me to struggle with I know I think struggle with them it's, the time is shorter and I think it's not I think it's out of you know what I guess they would say is practice I try to meditate I don't like sit on a cushion and go um for like 10 minutes but I have my own little meditation style I read something I just read like a page of something inspirational or uplifting either in the night just before I fall asleep or in the morning just as I wake up and then you know I probably write some affirmations or something about probably what I'm going through or something that you know if I think somebody else is going through something you know I'll be like you know you know you know hope Damali is doing good today or you know let Damali have a good day whatever it is that I am going through or I you know want to send some positive energy for somebody I feel them and I acknowledge them but it's I guess the process for processing all of that and realizing like you know it will get better or it will work out maybe not in the way you want it to work out or it won't work out in the timing again the patience like it may not work out right now but just relax a little bit and you know keep doing what you're doing take a deep breath relax you know start again and maybe this will pop up for what you want in five years ten years or whatever but just keep going and most importantly enjoy life